All right, so we opened up the new laptop. The new the laptop. laptop right? Yep, this is when I transferred over to my MacBook for the first time because uh, Free Loops over this, actually on tour. I bought this laptop because um, they finally got FL running nice on Mac. So yeah, I, I made the switch. And this was, uh, this was actually one of the first ones I made on this laptop. Uh, what was the inspiration for, for this one? I was off that Daytona Pusha T. Like that whole record to me was so amazing. Uh, just the beats and the vibe and just how heavy it was. And like, uh, what would Meek do? That song to me, I don't know, it's so underrated. It's such a good song to me. And just like that vibe with the drums and just the energy, that's what I wanted to kind of capture on this one. So, um, so. Did you already know the subject matter of what, uh, what Bob's going to I, I, I did not. There's actually, there's a dope picture that Shwai took of us in the green rooms where I'm just, on my laptop in the hallway, making the beat, and then Bob's in the hallway, like writing to the beat. That was a cool moment, because that just showed us like, no matter where we are, we're just gonna get it done. Like yeah. just, you know, be creative wherever you are. And that was, this was definitely one of my, one of my favorite beats on so the So he's record. writing like, as you're making the beat? I'm making the beat, he's writing it, yeah, exactly. What were the first elements uh, for this track? The first, I started with the drums, because I wanted to do the, the Kanye, um, me, what would Meek do kind of drum? I remember I just started off with this kick and snare. That's the, just the kick pattern. And I've used that kick on part of my ego. So same kick, you know. Tabletop. Yeah, exactly. Bang. At the lunch table. But this yeah. is one of my favorite snares. I just love that snare for some reason. Added a, a simple hat on top, like a deep closed hi hat. I give it the movement. It's almost like some like old NWA, like mm -hmm. Dr. Dre shit yeah, too, yeah, you yeah. know? Like almost like a program drum machine kind of break. And so yeah, I had that, and then I was just going through different sounds, and then uh, once again, my boy Q Beats uh, sent me this. Fire loop. But I just literally took the first uh, two bars of it. There's some kind of energy about that because I love the chord changes in it, but I just wanted to stay on that one note, the root note. So I had that and I was like, damn, that's kind of sick. So let me just put that with these drones. And then all, all, when I heard that, I was like, damn, like that's a vibe, like yeah. a different kind of vibe. Like I don't know what, but just. <laughs> That would be cool beat, but what really sets this beat off is this fucking shit right here. So I pitched it down like four uh, tones. That's the original. And so what I did, I just pitched it to the key of the uh, Q beat sample. So. That's my favorite part, the took like the vocal and I had to add the 808 and I set it so it cut off like however long the length is that's how long it'll be so See how it does that, but I, just, I made it super short. And I did a cool slide, so I've, I've talked about this before, but you just put 
um, to do 808 slides, you just add this little, you just press this button right here and you add the note underneath. So this note's gonna slide to this note. Whichever note you put the slide on, it's gonna slide down. So, kinda hear that slide. So, you know, just another FL trick. And I made all this just on laptop speakers, hoping that the 808s would come through and shit, which I, I, I love the 808s on this. did the super high one so I, instead of sliding down I slid yep and so that with and then my favorite one of my favorite parts comes up So I wanted this, I didn't want to keep the piano going the whole time. It needed some kind of B section. Mm -hmm. So I just went from... That shit is so crazy to me. It's just like a, um, from a pack I downloaded and just... And I just uh, took that first loop. And I just pitched it up to match the key. Another thing where each sound, you know, is important. Right. Like, <clears throat> very simple beat, but each sound makes it. Just makes it with. If you take out one of the sounds, the beat isn't the same. Right. Like, especially if you take out this main vocal one. It's cool, but it's, it, it's missing something. Right? Something about that is so sick. To that shit's hard. <laughs> that shit's hard fuck. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, that's, that's it. How do sample packs work? For example, like you, you talk it about depends, Cubase, yeah. like so that Q beat stuff he just sends me personally. Like that's not online or nothing. That's just me and him have that connection relationship. And do you tell him like what type of vibe you're on, or mm -hmm. does he sends you random stuff? I just uh, he sends me probably like I'll open up one of his folders he sent me, you know, with all these samples. So it's just one of the samples. And does he send similar things to other people? And then like, what if you both want to use it at the same time? I think he makes so many tracks that like, they're pretty exclusive. You know, I've heard, I've heard some stuff here and there that I've had that's come out. Yeah. But for the most part, man, like it's pretty exclusive. So I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm pretty blessed to have that. Got it. And then yeah. what about other sample packs? Like if you download a certain sample pack, does that come like pre-cleared? Pre yeah, or? some are royalty free, some are from an actual producer that they sell, where you know I hit them up and then let them know, but it just depends. Like usually that stuff is pretty pretty chill. That's not really, I don't consider those samples, because um, those are meant to be flipped. Right. So it's like, they're gonna be cool with it, but the sample that's completely different, this is more original melody stuff. Right. So it's like the clearing stuff is, is nothing I don't really worry about. It's more so actual samples. Where I'm right. like, damn, you know, that's tough. That's why I love. That's why I love doing this. It's like a great balance, compromise for me, where it's yep. like these dudes um, are making like really, really raw sounding samples that I can just treat as something that I found, you know, right. and then just flip it that way. Like that has a, a vinyl texture to it, so it's like people. I could say it's just from a record, yep. but it's not, you know. So it's a good balance for me. And then this stuff really adds like the dope feeling to it, you know, like like all that stuff. So it makes it feel like a sample. I really try to make it feel as like natural and raw as possible, even if it's not a sample. Is 
Is that vocal sample or sample or no? Uh, no. 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 That's also from a pack? Yep. Oh, crazy. Yeah. So it really just depends on where you find it and like how you go about it. And some stuff like you, like if you really, if you download like a, um, a S1 pack or something or an Illmind pack, mm -hmm. um, yeah, you're just going to have to like clear it with Illmind, you know, but yeah. it's, it's easy. It's simple enough. Yeah. It's, it's a really great thing for producers to do nowadays is if you're not getting placements and stuff like that, like really just if you spend like a couple months like getting your sample game up, like yep. it's it's a nice way to get your foot in the door and then you just take it from there, you know? That's dope. Yeah. But yeah, this one is pretty simple, man. I think I went through everything and then, man, he did that, uh, he did both verses just on the tour bus in the back of the bus and one of my favorites, man. He had a cool tone on his voice too. It's like, I don't even know how to describe it. It's almost like he's not open, like when Kanye's had his mouth wired, like, yeah, it almost has that wire. tone, you know? which is really cool and what he's talking about i, I love too um the, it's just a hard ass song to me his verses yeah it's just it's a good compliment to each other what was your feeling once you actually heard bob's lyrics on top of it oh i thought it was super hard like we actually wanted to get like future like push a t on it to do uh, oh, a verse it was just like talking about that kind of stuff but when i first heard him do it i thought it was so hard like just the hook, it just grabs your attention, you know? Yeah. And um, just the way the beat goes with it. And, the, and when the verse comes in with the vocals and shit, like, like his tone on flow on that shit is like impeccable. So I, it's one of my favorite songs on the record for sure. Yeah, I love the way that you flipped it because it's like, oh, if I talked about this more, more often, probably, yeah, the more like, often than probably, yeah. 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 So it's like a deeper message than like what the actual hook, you know, you hear the hook and you're like, damn, he's just talking about Coke, but it's like, yeah the deeper message behind it yeah i think that went over some people's heads just from the comments that i saw yeah man it's, it's one of those i think it's one of those records you gotta listen to it three four five times because you're gonna catch new stuff it's like when you make a decision off of one listen it's you're not gonna get the full effect you gotta really listen to it a couple times and you know sure. catch that because people are like oh man logic's changed he's talking about cocaine and molly i'm like you're obviously not listening to the second verse the is like things. bank account won't give me a loan for my house that's why i sell bricks by the gas station so he's like really talking about it you know right. what i mean it's just got to get past the hook yeah it's one of my favorites and even the, the hook i feel like he flipped it the way that he like flipped a, it a j cole flipped some stuff when, when he was kind of like oh i'm gonna use kind of like this sound that's commercially viable right now to kind of like flip it. I mean, we've, we've done it before Killing Spree. Right. It's a great example, like yep. ass, titties, pussy, money, weed. It's right. the same same kind of concept, you know what I mean? Yeah, it reminds me of, I don't know if you ever used to mess with uh, Dead Prez. Oh yeah. But like, the the video opening is like the girl with booty cheeks. Yeah. And it's like, then they pull away, and they're like, now that we have your attention. <laughs> now that we got, yeah, exactly. That's what it is. It's just like the pills and the applesauce. It's, right. You gotta listen to what he's saying, you know? It's not just, not just the first couple words. You really right. gotta listen to what he's saying. But yeah, overall, man, one of my favorite songs. Uh, it kind of, this is kind of like set the tone um, for like uh, four or five records we did after this. Just like the aggression and stuff like that. So it was a big one for me. I know something that a lot of fans ask is, uh, do you have a favorite on, uh, on this album? In terms oh, of man. This is one of them. This is like top two or three. Just, I love, I love this beat. It's so hard to me. It just, it's just, it's gonna go off live too, you know what I mean? So yeah. th this one, um, Lost in Translation, which we'll get to. Yep. Um, man, there's a lot, there's a lot, man. I love a lot of the you beats on here. On this, on this project. Thank you, bro. You Thank you, bro, I appreciate that, man. Um, another question that a lot of fans ask is, uh, in terms of like length, mm -hmm. like what beat has taken you the longest to create wow. on this project? Or what's like the quickest flip of, of the beat? Do you remember? The quickest flip? I might have to see the track listing, but off the top of my head, maybe Commando. I want to say that was like pretty quick. What's I was quick? just by my like 20, 30 minutes. You know right. what I mean? Yeah. Just, I say quick, but it's the preparation. It's like, it's like years of preparation right. going into a moment, knowing like what's going to be good and what's not going to be good right. on a track. You know what I mean? That's and why I don't say, in your folders, yeah, so that's why I don't want to say it just takes 20, 15, 20 minutes to make a beat. Cause like plus eight years of preparation, right? Like that's what it is. Um, it, it's quick in the moment, but like I said, the shit I 
didn't see led up to me being able to be that quick, if that right. makes sense. Yeah, and in your head, you're already kind of like, oh, I have this, yeah. this snare and this folder, and I have this, um, so it's, like, yeah. it's more about like orchestrating the pieces together. Mm -hmm. that, and like, that took you 20 minutes. Yeah, exactly. That took me 20 minutes, and it's just like knowing that if there's ever going to be an artist on here, I'm not going to over do the production so it's like you got to stop at some point a lot of the uh beats i send out are like pretty like rough like references mm -hmm. but end up being like all you need so i don't want to add too much because right. then that'll ruin as long as the vibe of the beat is there that's important because yep. you can always add shit later if necessary but you don't want to add stuff that takes away from the original vibe that's why for this everything i added like kept the I just i want to just enhance that vibe right so you know Different process for each. This was this was a this was an easy one to make, in terms of just I was just having fun and shit was just coming together. Right. Um, what about the opposite? What's, what's the track on this album? I mean, Lost in Translation, man. That just the process of that took a long time. Yeah, Lost in Translation mm -hmm. was a trip because it's like you left Tokyo. Yeah. Thinking that that song was done. <laughs> yeah. You headed you headed to Maryland for your pop's uh, birthday, and then all of a sudden well, you must have got a call or something that. Well, actually. You know, Rewind.